One of the questions I get asked most frequently is how to get better at PvP and Escape from Tarkov. This whole game, the foundation of it, is built on this heart-pumping, moment-to-moment intense PvP, and learning how to get better can be frustrating because of the nature of the game and the fact that you're losing your stuff when you die. So in this video, I'm giving my all-time best tips for getting better at PvP and Escape from Tarkov after about 4,000 hours of playing myself. You can check me out live on Twitch where I stream Escape from Tarkov. All my links will be down below. And as a quick shout out, our Discord server is an awesome place to be as well if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with. We got tons of people, Sherpa systems, all sorts of stuff. That link is down below as well. With all that out of the way though, let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, I'm going to try and make these tips applicable to everybody. If you're a solo player, if you play with squads, if you've played a decent amount of Tarkov, or if you're brand new to the game, let me know if you'd like me to make something more specifically for solo players, more specifically for squads or advanced players. Um, but these tips are going to be helpful to you. And these are skills that I am still working on and refining even at 4,000 hours in the game. So no matter where you are, uh, these can be helpful. So the first thing that you need to know in order to get better at PvP and Tarkov is that you are going to die in this game a lot and that death is your friend. Whenever I start talking about this, a lot of times people just like roll their eyes. This is one of the most overlooked things, but you're going to die in this game a lot. It's just the nature of the game. It's a brutal game. And learning from your mistakes, learning from your deaths is the quickest way to get better. It is 100% how I learned how to get better at this game. No matter how much you study the game of basketball, no matter how much you watch or study the players or the techniques or the history of the game, until you get out onto the court and shoot and see if you're shooting way short, if you're shooting way too far, if it's going off to the left or being crazy, you're not going to be able to know what you need to work on to get better. And so that's part of it. Embracing the fact that, especially if you're new to this game or if you've been playing for a while, that you are going to die in this game. And that's a part of the process. If you accept that and if you learn how to not just get frustrated and start blaming all the things in the game, there's tons of broken systems in the game for sure. You are going to get better that much quicker. The next kind of preface here is play the game how you want to play the game, especially with all the changes that have been added in 12.12. .12, there are more viable gameplay styles than there have ever been before. It used to be if you really wanted to be proficient, you had to be aggressive. The game is continuing to move towards a place where you can still be proficient being aggressive, but you can also play slow. You can also play long distance. You can play any way you want to play. So don't just watch people and try to play that way. And I say that because a lot of times people just try to play the aggressive play style, even though that's not necessarily their favorite way to play. And it just kind of feels like they're beating their head against the wall because they're not going, they're not getting good at that and they're not having fun. Play the way you want to play, learn how to be proficient at that. Uh, these tips are going to just be helpful for how to win PVP fights, no matter at what distance, if it's squads, if it's solo. Um, but at the end of the day, play how you want to play. And that same thing goes for use what kind of guns you want. I'm a huge advocate for it. No matter what gun is considered the quote unquote meta in any particular wipe, if you're using guns that you're comfortable with, if you like using bolt actions or SMGs as opposed to the M4s or the mutants, uh, use those. Whatever you're most comfortable with, you're going to be most proficient with. Of course, try to, you know, stretch yourself and use new things when it's, you know, when you want to get better at something or when it's fun. Play how you want to play. Use what you want to use. That's when you're most likely going to do your best. Now, all that being said, the number one thing that you need in order to get better at PvP and Escape from Tarkov is map knowledge. People sleep on this a lot. And a lot of times, some of the best players in the game will tell you that map knowledge is more important than technical skill or accuracy or having metagear. Knowing the maps is huge. It's how this game is played currently. Yeah, we might move towards different systems in the future, but right now you need to know the maps. And that presents itself in a few different ways. The first way is the spawns. You have to learn the spawns. There's tons of tools out there. Mapgenie.io is my favorite. You can use maps on the wiki and learn where the spawns are, but you have to know that. I hate this mechanic of the game. I hate that the spawns are so predictable and so close to each other. So it kind of feels bad having to learn it, but it's just part of it. People that play this game a lot just naturally learn where the spawns are. They know where they are. They know where you're going to be and they can kill you really, really quickly. And that can be really, really frustrating. So you need to understand where they are so that you can either push a fight, disengage from a fight, get to your quest item. Learning that is really, really important. The second way that map knowledge comes into play is rotate. If you're in a PVP fight, move around, keep that fight moving. One of the worst mistakes I see people make is they get into a PVP fight. And if that fight isn't immediately over, they just kind of sit there and they wait. They wait for the enemy to come to them or they wait for something to happen. And you have to keep the fights moving uh, because when you become predictable, when you just sit in the same spot, uh, you're you're just opening yourself up to so many different variables. They're going to roll a nade in. They're going to send their teammate around to flank you and sandwich you. Uh, scav might spawn in. And all of that is going to end in you dying just because you didn't do anything. You didn't move around. So 
rotate, move around. It's normally when I either watch people's clips or when people ask me how to get better, it all comes down to map knowledge and moving around, keeping a fight moving. It gives you time to think about what you want to do. And it gives you time to kind of like take the fight on your terms. Maybe you're one V threeing, or maybe your squad mate is hurt and, and there's two or three of them. However it is, disengage, re-engage. You don't have to run away from the fight, but rotate, 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 move around. And knowing the maps, knowing the areas, knowing where there's cover, knowing where there's building, knowing how to traverse, that all is map knowledge and that all helps you kind of keep these PvP fights spicy and keep them under your control. And then thirdly, with map knowledge, it's knowing where cover is. And this is obviously when we're talking about rotating, but additionally, just traversing the map uh, yes, right now the game kind of plays as just like kind of point A to point B. There's going to be PvP here, then it's going to be there. So I'm just going to move A to B. But as the game progresses, if it becomes less predictable, then knowing the maps and knowing where hard cover is, especially now that we get into these situations with the stamina, where if you're in a full sprint and then you get shot in the leg and you can't move and you're out in the open because you didn't know somebody was going to be there, as you traverse the map, knowing where the hard cover is, knowing where you can kind of get to safety is really important. The next big tip to win more of these PvP fights is to get your enemy to work for you. You're trying to gain information. A lot of times a PvP fighting Tarka is over really quickly. Boom, headshot, back to the lobby. But when it's not, when you're in a firefight, when you send some shots down, they send some shots down, and it kind of lulls down, you're always trying to gain information about where your enemy is. And the more time that passes with no information is really, really bad. This is a huge mistake I see people make all the time, and I used to make it all the time. You just kind of like wait and wait for information to prevent itself instead of you're getting your enemy to do that work for you. And this almost always ends bad because the more time of just complete silence, the more doubt that creeps up. You don't know now, okay, maybe I killed them. Maybe I should let my guard down and check. Maybe they're flanking me. Maybe they're telling their teammate. Maybe they left and they left and I can go get this loot. Maybe a scav spawns in and you hear the scav walk and you think it's the enemy. All of this stuff can start to pile up the more time that you let go. So you have to get that information and you can get your enemy to do that for you. And the more time that you let pass, the more doubt creeps in and the more of these kind of variables can pop up. So when you're in that position, either push and acquire the information because you're confident in your ability to kill this guy or move away, disengage, re-engage, or try to get that information. There's tons of tools that you can use at your disposal in Tarkov. You can try and bait them out with movement by either pretending to run away or actually running and re-engaging. And a lot of times you get them, you know, swiveling around. You can hear them because they're trying to get information on you. You can use grenades as a tool as well to get information or push somebody out of a spot that they're hiding in or just figure out if anybody's hiding. You can blind fire around a corner. There's tons of things you can do, but at the end of the day, move don't let the fight settle too much uh, and try to get your enemy to give you that information to do work for you to bait them into a push or something and then use that information against them the next big thing that you want to know to get better at pvp is know how to use angles a lot of tarkov fights come down to either like doorways or hallways in the resort or dorms or people holding really really tight angles and you got to kind of like know what to do with those angles. Previously, aggression was always recommended as basically the strat for Tarkov. If you wanted to be really, really good, you just always had to be shift Wing, pre-firing everything. Inertia changes that a little bit. There's definitely plenty of room to be aggressive in Tarkov still, but with the inertia and the stamina changes, there is a lot more room to be holding angles and getting your enemy to move towards you. But at the end of the day, knowing how to use angles to your advantage and put yourself in the best spot possible is the key. There's a bunch of things you can do. Number one, pre-fire. This is kind of the old meta and it's still very viable. If you know somebody is sitting right around a corner, if you know somebody's in a room, if you know somebody's reloading or healing, you can pre-fire that angle and 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 come try to take your shot that's risky but uh, it works a lot of the time if you have information and you think you have enough information that you can net you that kill start firing as you're moving out of that angle and try and clean up that kill really quickly like we were just saying you can hold angles now a lot more than ever because of the stamina changes your enemy might be super heavy they might already be hurt if you see somebody or hear somebody coming and they're not aware of you you don't have to push out you don't have to make yourself known set up into a place let them come to you hold that angle and then the other biggest tip I can give with angles is don't re-peek them. Once again, this is another huge mistake I see people make a lot, especially with players or even the AI, is if you peek an angle, you get into an engagement with somebody and you move back, 
If you have any other option other than peeking that exact same angle again, take that option. Yes, you might win that fight sometimes, and, or it might be your only option, but re-peeking the same angle over and over and over again is almost always going to get you killed because they might move to another angle and now the information you had is no longer usable, or they decided not to go back behind cover, so now they're holding it and they're just waiting for one pixel of your head to come around that corner. So peek an angle to get information. If you feel like you have enough information to peek again and kill somebody, take it. But if you don't pick up a kill or there's another person, don't be predictable. Don't re-peek the same angle, move around, get out of that situation uh, and try to peek from a different place. The next big tip here is know your weapon. Now that seems simple, that seems obvious, but once again, I see a lot of people make this mistake where they're just uh, trying to engage on as many people as possible from any angle as possible all the time. Of course, everybody knows not to try and snipe 200 meter shots with an SMG unless you're memeing around and pushing into dorms or really close angles with a bolty and a magnified optic isn't good. Those are the extremes, but what happens in the middle is a lot of people just are quick to pick up fights. If you've got a high powered scope and somebody's at that uncomfortably close distance where it's a little too far to point fire, but a little too close to ADS, break away from that fight, know what weapon you have, know what gear you have on, get to an angle where you can engage at the distance that makes sense to you. If you've got an SMG, an MP5 or an MP7, and you don't necessarily have the best ammo and you see somebody 30 yards in front of you and they don't see you yet, you don't have to engage on them right there and spray down your whole mag and maybe hit one or two shots. Closing or creating distance are incredibly important things, especially when you're outside, when you're not like in dorms or in a building, when you're outside, use your terrain, use your environment and get to an appropriate distance. I like to run SMGs a lot and you see me a lot just kind of like running, zigzagging, using cover, using rocks, using grenades, just pushing close to them so that when I spray that down, I can feel comfortable getting all those shots on target or vice versa. If I've got a bolty and a pistol and I'm not comfortable because they've got a big old gun, I am running away. I'm getting out of there and I'm getting to a place where I can re-engage, get a new angle and use my gear to my advantage. So know what gun, this goes back to what we're saying, run guns you're comfortable with, but just understand where they're going to be most proficient and play to that. That is going to allow you to pick up a bunch of extra kills, but additionally, it's going to prevent you from dying in a bunch of situations. And then finally, the last tip is you don't have to take every single fight. Remember, all of this, you're going to die. You're going to die in order to get better. But all of this needs to be filtered through surviving. At the end of the day, surviving is the most important thing in this game. Now, if you've got 100 million rubles and you're bored with the wipe and you're just pushing every single PvP fight, that's totally understandable. But if you're trying to get better at this game, if you're trying to get into a place where it's more sustainable, where you can win more fights, prioritizing survival is the most important thing. If you get out of the raid with a completely empty bag because you got hurt and you didn't know what to do and you didn't want to take on any more fights, that is still you not having to buy another kit. That's still you not having to buy more ammo. And this applies in a bunch of different ways too. If you've already killed a few people, you're heavy, your armor's busted and somebody either shoots at you or you hear some shots go off, you don't have to take every single fight. If you've got a weapon that's not good for the engagement that you're at and somebody walks by you and they don't know you're there, you don't have to take that fight. We try to get better at PVP so that we can survive more raids so that we can make more money and get more gear. And a lot of people kind of lose that. They don't filter everything through survival and then they get frustrated that they died with all this gear or they get frustrated that they just can't can't exit any raids. Make the survival of raids a priority um, and that is going to get you far. It's not just about bailing on fights. It's not just about retreating, even though that's an important skill, knowing when a fight is kind of lost and knowing when you need to retreat. Uh, just not taking fights that are unnecessary or fights that you don't think you can win. This is going to make Tarkov a much more enjoyable experience for you. So those are my major tips on how to get better at PvP in Tarkov. There's so much more. There's so much to talk about. There's so many skills to learn. Like point firing is a huge skill to learn using the hideout to aim train, using offline modes to test against scavs or anything. There's always more to talk about, but those are kind of the big, more strategy oriented tips that I can give you to get better at Tarkov. There's no substitute for just getting in there, dying and learning what went wrong and what you could do better from that. Like we said before, our Discord's an awesome place to be if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with. I personally think playing with a duo or a small squad is the way to go to play this game, especially as you're learning. Uh, it's going to make it a more enjoyable experience, even if you're dying, having some people to kind of hang with. So definitely check that out. But I hope that this helped. I hope that this gave you something to chew on, something to practice to go in there and win more PvP fights in Escape from Tarkov.
Thank you so much as always for taking the time to check out this video. If you like the video, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Like we said before, I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord server is an awesome place to be. That link is down below as well. Thank you again for stopping by, and I will definitely see y'all on the next one.